have this recipe before. It's one of my favorite ones and I will be sure to post it below. So anyways, you spread it over the squash and you bake it in the oven for about half an hour. It makes this yummy, crusty thing. So another recipe that I got from the same recipe book, um, the Ultimate Reset recipe book, is uh, using the same squash that you ate the night before and um, adding some coconut milk and making that your your dinner or part of your dinner the next day. So anyways, I have the leftover squash. See, right now, my garden is like producing squash like mad. So like squash recipes are completely welcome as long as they are healthful. So this doesn't look very yummy, but it's very appetizing. But let me tell you, it tastes really good. There's not quite enough here. So um, when I made this recipe, I actually had another half a squash. <laughs> like these squash are humongous. I'm telling you. I, I I had no idea I had such a green thumb till this year. So anyways, I usually made this soup in the, um, in the in the magic bullet because I don't have a great big blender. So I this time I'm gonna use my um, KitchenAid. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I haven't tried this before. So um, but because I don't want to like magic bullet after magic bullet after magic bullet. So I'm going to add some more squash to it and I'm going to add a little bit more um, of the coconut oil. I'm using the organic light coconut oil in there. And uh, then we will see what happens. So first thing I need to do is I need to carve the skins off of there and carve the skins off of here. So. I will get started on doing that. Alright, so I have all the chunks of the, it's cooked squash, I should probably say that. Well, obviously I was talking about the fact that, it, you know, I baked it last night. So, anyway, so you guys are pretty smart cookies. So I have like a can of the organic coconut milk and then you just got to give this a really, 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 really good shake because everything kind of settles. So what I have in the bowl is about four servings. Okay, so um, the sauce that I post down below will be one serving. And uh, yeah, you gotta make that face when you open the can because it might sprinkle or something or you know, coconut juice everywhere. Okay, so it's gonna be like one cup that's times in it by four. Pouring that in. Now since this doesn't have um, as much of the, the crust on it be because I used partially um, the one that was baked with the sauce and the one that was baked just with um, you know just in, in water just steamed generically. I'm gonna put some of the liquid brag in it. Approximately two tablespoons there. Um, using this one here, it's a, I think it's a cake batter one, but it should do the same thing, I'm hoping. This is real live time. Never done this before. So, we're going to see what happens. So, I'm just going to go slow. Go real slow. Oh, we just lost a little bit on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good idea. Okay, so what am I going to do here? There is... Hold on, one second. Alright, let's try this again. I have this handy dandy... Uh, uh, cover thing for the KitchenAid. It's, it's so it covers the bowl while you um, mix. My mom always told me to use it and I never have so I guess that's one of the reasons why when you're doing something she said you don't want it to splatter out. Now this is some pretty wicked strong stuff so I'm holding it on top. Much easier in a great big blender. I'm 
sure. And now you can hear it going. I'm going to turn it up <laughs> again with the facial expressions. I know, eh? It's like when you're putting on mascara and you got to make that face or whatever we do. I don't know. It just, it, it's, um, it's very instinctive. Yeah. So, we're getting some pretty good uh, mix in here. I think it's going to work out just fantastic. have really good flavor I can tell you that so I'll definitely um, post a picture of what it looks like in a bowl how's that yeah okay anyways it's my attempt at squash soup um, my theory in in the kitchen is it might not always look pretty in this case it probably won't look pretty but I guarantee it tastes good and I guarantee it's clean eating so anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you um, stepped outside your comfort zone today and tried a new recipe or just tried a new concoction of your own. <laughs> thanks for watching.